Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about AMD Radeon RAM Disk, what it is and how it works. First off, we're going to start with an image of a typical motherboard that you might find in any desktop computer. So there are some basic components. First, there's the CPU, then there's the chipset, there's your memory, the DRAM, and then there's the storage attached to your system. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to show this as a simple block diagram. Just to give you an idea on the perspective access times for these devices, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the scales in which we measure them. So a hard drive is typically measured in access times in the millisecond range. Um, solid state disks are typically accessed in the microsecond range, so about a thousand times faster. On top of all that, you have DRAM, which is accessed in the nanosecond range, so even a thousand times faster than SSDs. Um, why that's important, we'll get back to in a minute, but right now I'd like to focus on just the DRAM portion. So we're going to look at the DRAM as a volume of space that we can fill with stuff. First and foremost, we start off with the operating system, which occupies some of that space. Then you have your applications, which are uh, above the operating system and occupy some more space. The interesting thing here, though, is that um, the total amount of applications and operating system space in your memory is really about 4 gig at the most, uh, depending on what you're using your you know, computer for, what applications you're running. So that's actually leaving you a lot of unused space, depending on how much memory you have. Now, obviously, if you only had 4 gig, you'd be pretty well set. But uh, computers these days have 8, 16, 32, 64 gigs of DRAM capacity in them. So the question is, what do I want to do with all that unused space? One of the things you can do is create a RAM disk in that space. That is, partition that, that unused space out and present it back to the system as one of your storage devices. So back to our block diagram again. Uh, we have our storage tier in the lower right and our DRAM in the upper left. And what we've done is create a RAM disk in the unused portion of the DRAM. So what we can do then is take the storage tier, which contains our applications and data, and actually make a copy of that to the RAM disk storage tier, which, as you remember, is thousands of times faster than the storage tiers that we have in the system so far. Now, why would we want to do that? Let's have a look at the benchmarks. So this is a standard RAID 10 configuration of mechanical hard drives. You'll see that there's pretty good sequential performance, but as we get to smaller block sizes and become more and more random, you'll see that the performance drops quite a bit. That's because mechanical hard drives have seek times and mechanical parts that move, which have to travel at very slow speeds compared to the electronic devices in your system. So let's compare that to uh, your solid state disk, which is typically made of flash memory. Right off the bat, you'll see that the sequential numbers are quite a bit higher. Uh, the other interesting fact is that the um, smaller block sizes and the more random accesses are also quite a bit higher, um, significantly so, uh, than mechanical drives because the solid state flash drives have no seek time, so there's no mechanical latencies to worry about. Now, interestingly, we'll keep the solid state disk up as the fastest thing we've tested so far and compare that to the RAM disk that we created and you'll see tremendous jumps in the performance over the solid state flash drive and you'll see that that maintains all the way through uh, for random and smaller workloads as well. So we get actually uh, performance on the order of 5.4 gigabytes per second throughput uh, versus 186 megabytes per second uh, on the solid state disk tier. So please visit us at www.radeonmemory.com and download a free trial version of Radeon RAM Disk. Also check back with us for more videos in the future. Thanks.